what is going on everybody and welcome to into my gt entertainment and i am joel how are y'all doing this morning today i am going to go over my fleet because i think it's kind of ridiculous myself now it ain't no high-end garage with you know all these exotic cars but they are definitely a a lot of Mustangs and a lot of Ford products and I think Ford should sponsor me because I spent a lot of money over the years and you'll see what I mean. Um, so what I'm going to do is go over all these cars. This one, this one, the Jeep, Prometheus, the new one, the whole shebang down the row. And just give you kind of a tidbit of where it came from and why it's here and why is it still here and what got it replaced and how things end up happening. So uh, stay tuned and let's see what it's all about. Just to give you a little bit of a background, for me anyway, um, when I was growing up in my 16s, quite a long time ago, um, I had a 90s Fox body, I had a 93 Fox body, Pam had a 93, uh, 95 GT. Um, so we've been into the Mustangs and cars uh, her dad was a car dealer back in the day. She had a couple conquests. She had a whole mix of cars because, you know, when your dad's a dealer, you can kind of drive everything. So she's always been into cars too. So I was kind of lucky to find somebody that kind of had the same background as me, um, at least in the car. She understood the passion versus, you know, someone going, why are you doing what you're doing? So, um, yeah maybe that's good or bad i don't know maybe that's why i'm in the mess i am now but uh either way we're gonna go ahead and um that's the background you know i'll throw up some of the old pictures if i could find them um you know my, i had a white gt she had a i had a red gt um she had a red gt also uh so like i said there was plenty of cars i went through the whole i went through a motorcycle phase um that lasted uh for a little while until i put that on the side of a mountain but that's a whole different story so um let's get started all right so when i was in high school and just got out of high school um i got my first gt uh back back in the day you know uh, it was a red 90 uh mustang gt and uh it was beautiful i love that car um I was out of school because I was working. And uh, one day on the way to work, someone was parked uh, on the side of the road on the interstate. They were still in the lane and it was late because I worked night shift. Uh, they didn't have no lights on and kind of plowed into them and lost that car. Um, I got ejected from the car at that point and, you know, had some things going on at that time, but you know, we are good and past all that and uh i wish uh i still had those cars so we went from the red gt after we got our crap straight after that and went to the white gt um the 93 so we upgraded a couple years the seats were a little different but you know the interior was pretty much the same i, I wanted to say that uh if y'all know the fox bodies the gt the 90 gt i think had like a map light um and then the other one did not but anyway uh, I wish I had more pictures of those cars and knew what the future held because those would be definitely a, a talking piece here because my white GT was uh, powered down supercharged um, you know it had exhaust it had you know motor work done and you know cammed and all this other good stuff but you know not knowing what you know in these days 
kind of went by the wayside we sold it and uh it is no more at least not that i know of anyway but uh that's just the lead into the story now let me talk about what we have behind us all right so what had happened in the years that you know we we started a family pam and i and um we had to get rid of the mustangs because they weren't practical at the time and you know we were adulting right so uh you know we made the choice to go into suv so you know i had i still had my white 93 but we traded hers in for an expedition and we rolled with that not till too long ago you know um probably 2020 we had a 93 so it it, it made some time on it you know and um like i said we decided to get back into cars again um so in the meantime uh I wanted to get something new so well Pam wanted to get something new. I think it started with her first so she wanted to get a BRZ so we went ahead and ordered a BRZ for her and if I have the pictures I'll just throw them up real quick and then um, we got that and then uh, I was like well you know I wanted something new too because I was riding around in a an Acura Integ uh, no Acura um, TL which I love that car. Um, it was an 08, but it started having a little bit of uh, electrical issues in it. So it was time to kind of let that go anyway. Um, so I went ahead, since we were in a Subaru phase, um, I went ahead and got a STI. And uh, I had that for literally two months. And um, I felt kind of weird in it. Um, it was a, a a different platform that um, i wasn't used to so uh like i said it, i drove it it had that boxer motor it had that you know it had the different tones and and stuff like that but uh like i said it, it didn't really fit my bill for it uh because i wanted to go ahead and uh go into some other type of uh car products and you know go visit something a little different um but that darn wing man that darn wing behind me uh I, I just felt like i was out of touch with the car you know what i mean i i didn't know anything really about it i didn't know and i felt kind of like i needed to be a little younger to be rolling around with that <laughs> so anyway so what happened at that point um we went ahead and started looking around at least i did anyway and that's where Electra showed up. Um, it was here at a local dealership. We saw it. I was like, well, let's go look at it. I, I looked at a couple Mustangs prior to this one. And Pam didn't really like it because the ones that I was bringing home were kind of basic. Um, and, and I don't know. We don't do basic well, you know. So it's just kind of like whatever. So we looked around for a little bit and we saw this car. Okay, as I was saying, we saw this car at a dealership here locally and we went to go see it at night. You know, uh, the dealership was pretty cool. They said, well, hey, take it for the weekend uh, and see if you like it. And if you do, we'll come back and roll the deal. And at that time they were checking out the STI. So it's like I said, I only had it two months. Um, just got the loan on it and yada yada yada. So, you know, they had to work out whatever deals they needed to work out with. So, eventually we got to a point where, hey, things lined up. You know, I think I might have had to eat a little bit of the STI a little bit because, like I said, it was a new car, new loan, what have you. You learn, right? So, that's why you don't make rash decisions when you buy a car. Uh, but anyway, um we got this one she has transformed quite a bit since then um like i said got wheels supercharger hood you know suspension everything that makes electra electra but that is how she manifested here so we're going to talk about stormy next good old stormy so storm stormy whatever you want to call her but uh this is also a 20 14 mustang gt 
California special with the add-on of a glass roof. Um, Pam was always borrowing my car and uh, I was like, come on, you know, I, I bought the car for me. She was just putting miles on it because she's driving back and forth to work. Every time I woke up, the car was gone because I worked night at that time and everything. So I'm just like, come on, let's, let's go find you one. So we traded in her BRZ and put the search out for this California special. And like I said, we had my California special, so she knew what she wanted. Um, so we checked a couple dealerships, a couple deals fell through and whatever, but we eventually went up north. We had to go a little bit out of our range, but we went out up north a little bit and found old stormy here and uh it is like i said a california special um it has some exhaust work it doesn't have a lot of work done like good old electro over there but you know it does have some work it has a boss 302 intake manifold on it uh jlt intake you know all all, all sorts of the goodies that you do um the oil separator and yada 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 but uh like i said i got tired of her borrowing that so we went ahead and got her this so we were starting our mustang voyage again um we had this one we had that one and then you know that's how those two manifested um so a little bit of time went by and i don't know for y'all og ones that have been watching me i had shadow two valve now shadow two valve was just a a recreational car for me and pam it, it was something you know it was a convertible we never had a convertible so we wanted to try that out so uh we went ahead and got that and actually i bought it from a friend up here um i haven't seen her since high school at the time or whatever and you know they had this car and it was pretty pretty much well kept up low miles on it you know so i was like well let's go take a look at it you know the worst we could say is no and then go about our business but um we didn't say no so if i still have a picture of that i'm gonna pop that up right here and then uh that is stormy two valve not so stormy excuse me shadow two valve and uh like i said we got that and we rolled with that for a while you know we started fixing it up wheels lowered it um put the uh whatever the uh light bar on it so we had it looking pretty good and uh that's when brandon started to drive so he had a 2002 explorer that her dad had laying around and he just wanted to get rid of it so uh gave it to brandon he drove that through his high school years trashed that thing did whatever and um we got to a point where we're just like you know we're not really doing too much with the convertible so we'll go ahead and give it to Brandon. So uh, Brandon had that for quite a while. And um, he was doing things with it, you know. He took it down to Mustang. We learned, it, learned to drive that manual pretty decent. And, you know, had a good time with that car. So um, we, he went ahead and got old Minion. Uh, him and Pam went ahead and... At one of the dealerships that he was working at, they, this came in, and uh, he went ahead and purchased good old Minion. Now, there's a stories with Minion that go long and far and between, and so I'll let you go visit his web, uh, his his site, uh, Brandon Miranda, on YouTube, and of course you can follow Minion uh, online with his Instagram right here. Minion 5.0. Go ahead and uh, he'll tell you some stories about this car and then you'll kind of follow what has been happening with it and the stuff that he's done with it. Took it to the track, broke this, broke that. You know, all sorts of craziness. Had a big old accident to it. Was out of the scene for about six months. Um, but ne neither nonetheless, that's where that car has come from. So now we're moving on to something else. All right, so now that Brandon got Minion, we had Shadow 2 Valve back in our uh, in our stable. And uh, it was kind of just sitting out. You know, we really didn't have too much going on with it. 
But my daughter was getting at to a point where he was le learning to drive or whatever. Um, bad thing is, it was a manual and she wasn't ready for that part of her life at that moment. Uh, she didn't start driving up here till here recently and she still hasn't got her license, but that's a whole different ball of wax. We'll get to that shortly. Um, so anyway, we had Shadow. It was just me and Pam with it. And, uh, you know, every now and then Brandon will take it out and do Brandon things with it. But we decided to go ahead and um, unload that car. Um, I just kind of needed it out of the driveway for something later on for Sydney. So we sold that. He sold it to a buddy of his. And it kind of, that car's still rolling around here. Um, it's just gone through a couple different owners. So... We sold that car to get Methius. Now, Methius was for Sydney. Um, like I said, it was an automatic. Um, I changed the front end. It was, it's a premium pack, uh, pony package for the V6s. It's an auto. Um, like I said, I added a little bit of flavor to it. I changed the grills out, you know, so you know we have the california special grills and uh, uh it came with the headlight the uh, fog lights on it um added some wheels it's gone through some wheels but the good thing about the, all the wheels that i have is they all fit all the cars so it, this will go onto that car and that will go on this car and it'll go onto that car so wheels are kind of a thing that i do um but we went ahead and got this for her um we drove it for a little while till uh, it was time for her to start doing the learner's thing. And then COVID hit. Um, and then you would think that she would be excited to drive then, you know, something to get out the house. No, not my child. So anyway, um, she did her driver's ed stuff and then never did behind the wheel because COVID hit, they went home and that kind of threw that out of the rank. And then uh, the following year, um, they she didn't get back into class. I don't I don't know exactly how things manifested, but anyway, she didn't go ahead and um, go back into class. So at that point, now we have Prometheus is here now. Um, it's gone through a couple name changes, but as you can see. It's a beautiful car. Um, it's a V6. It's the ruby red. Um, it was up for sale. I'll get to that shortly. Um, I don't know if I'm still selling it or not. But it was up for sale. And um, as you can see, I've done some modifications. It's got Corsa exhaust, RTR deck lid. Uh, I'm going to redo the tin in it now since she's not taking over this car. Um, gonna smoke out the windows a little bit you know it's lowered on Ibach Pro Springs um, it's got uh, air rate intake you know strut tower brace a little couple little things done to her but you know she's a great car so it is now a daily for Pam and I um, to go along with the other 15 cars we got going on yeah, it makes no sense, and, you know, I'm not going to try and make sense out of it. But anyway, it is for sale. Um, I do have it listed for 16000 on Facebook. Um, I am willing to come down a little bit if need be, but until that point, uh, we'll go ahead and just keep her and drive her and do what we need to do. Not a problem with her at all. But that's how this one came about, because we sold... Um, shadow for Meteos. so that was the plan this was the plan for sydney um but sometimes plans don't go the way that you expect them to all righty then now for the one that isn't like the others jeep wagon right here um kind of a weird story with that one but pam wanted a jeep um i wasn't too keen on jeeps still not really too keen on jeeps uh but you know wife gets what she wants right but first we took a long path around so we bought a 2020 uh explorer xlt 
and we had that for about a year it was my fault i was like well let's go do the explore you know we get those a little cheaper and you know they always have better incentives at the time and you know because jeeps hold their value for whatever reason um like i said they're big tonka toys and they're great to play around with but you know i wasn't feeling it at the time and whatever so we had uh the xlt i'll throw a picture of that if i have it and uh we'll go from there we we had it for like i said about a year or two um i can't remember and uh we got to a point where she still wanted the jeep so we went ahead and traded that in and uh got some cash for that and paid it off and okay we were good so then we went jeep hunting um so of course us being us we couldn't just get any jeep right we have to go ahead and uh shop around and look at it and yada 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 so we got her uh unlimited jeep wrangler it's a 2021 um it's got pretty much all the bells and whistles that a jeep can have besides a camera in the front which she kind of regrets not getting now but you know we were trying to save some money off some little things and we're like well we don't need rock crawling cameras well it's kind of good parking in the in the garage because you can kind of see where you're going but um like i said this thing is her pride and joy she has pretty much all together just given up on storm um that thing is sitting over there but it's dead and uh, she always says because i park it in a weird spot and this that, and the other so we're going to fire it up probably later on today and get it running and she's going to drive it tomorrow because she's in a girls club with the cars and um like i said we'll have that rolling but anyway back to the jeep you know it has the power top it has the doors go you know it does jeep things right so this is what she kind of fell in love with and she'll tell you now that she is still in love with it um she likes driving it she drives it more than anything else that we own so uh good for her at least she's found something that you know she kind of enjoys getting into and playing around with and then she always has a mustang to drop back into so um that is where the jeep came from um like i said we, we went around the circle to get to our butt there but uh we ended up in the same spot that she wanted to so sometimes it's just better to start at the beginning and then stay there right so let's move over to the next one in the list this has got to be my favorite car out of the whole lot i don't know why maybe i've gotten older maybe it's just the the stigma that it has with these cars now because this is my favorite car um it is my 2022 uh explorer st believe it or not um this thing right here i adore this thing i don't know why it's so much fun to drive uh, i love to just go in it and go somewhere you know it, it is just it's comfy you can carry people and i have it tuned i have it you know hopped up it's got exhaust it's got everything you know it's tinted lowered and um you know it runs 11s for what it is as big as it is so you know that kind of came into my life because actually i was going to get a california special another one uh 2023 we had it ordered um it was the same atlas blue color with red calipers um we were getting it to come in and do what we got to do so in the meantime we were just kind of waiting you know because it was in a build and we were waiting for it and i was talking to pam I was like you know we got so many mustangs at the moment right why don't we get me an suv we'll, we'll change it up a little bit but we just won't get an explorer we'll just get something a little with a more pep to it right something that kind of fits our bill a little better because like i said we weren't feeling the 2020 that much but um this is a whole different animal and uh like i said it, it's definitely woke me up to different views of different stuff and like i said it's kind of crazy you got a, a three liter three liter twin turbo pumping out almost 500 horsepower 
you know, where the new car doesn't even do that. So, you know, it's kind of, kind of crazy. But like I said, that is how that came about because I had a, another California special ordered. Um, I wanted to get it because it was one of the last cars with the V8s and, you know, it was that body style and yada, yada, yada. But, um, I kind of talked myself out of it and we went with the uh, SUV. So, like I said, the ST, I love it. I, I do not regret one minute of buying that car. Um, like I said, it, it's it's a great car. As you see, it's taking up a spot in the garage now. Um, I'll rotate my cars in as I clean them. So those are the two clean cars in there now. And uh, we'll work on the next ones. And I just need a bigger garage, I think is what it is. But um, moving on to the next car. Okay, the next car was my 2024 Mustang GT. Um, yeah, this kind of came up pretty abruptly. Um, I do like it though. It is fun. You got to It's it's a kind of a difference uh, between the S197 platform and the uh, S650 and 550. Um, like I said, I think it's more of a refresh with a new motor. Um, or it's the same motor that they added a extra throttle body, you know. But whatever the case is, it, it's kind of a refresh model. And like I said, Brandon can go from this car to his car pretty self-seamlessly. Because, you know, it's pretty much the same car inside. Uh, for us, it was a little different. New technology. A little craziness going on with it. But, you know, you tend to get used to it as you drive. So, anyway... Pam and I were again just sitting around and I'm like well you know this might be the last year of the V8s for real you know everybody else was dumping their sports cars Camaros are gone you know Hemi's gone you know all this other craziness so I'm like well let's get you know our hands on one and then we'll go ahead and you know take care of it do whatever you know it might be the last V8 whatever that may not happen. There still might be V8 for who knows how long, but whatever the case, you know, everybody's going EV and yada, yada, yada. So let's go ahead and do it. So again, I had it ordered and the color I had it ordered was the Atlas blue with the red calipers. Cause I wanted to do something a little weird. I wanted to, if I went ahead and towed, I wanted to go ahead and have it towed with this Atlas blue red calipers. I think it would have looked pretty cool um, with the trailer and stuff like that. But I got overruled on the color. Um, then it was like everybody wanted vapor. I'm glad we didn't get vapor because everybody and their mothers got vapor. I mean, vapor is everywhere on every car these days. So um, we went ahead with yellow. I wonder where that suggestion came from, right? So Pam went ahead and agreed. And of course, I get overruled. I'm kind of glad this time it worked out that way because as you can see, she looks pretty good. Uh, I keep her clean. I think she's got like 1500 miles on her right now. I've had her since October. So um, like I said, it's she's gonna go through some changes. I got a lot of stuff sitting around for her. Uh, just finding the time and the help to do it. Um, I did go ahead right away changed the wheels on it i got her lowered uh she's on uh the magna rod Steeda springs uh she's on the uh belgian uh vf10s she has a Steeda stop the hop kit she has a Steeda mid pipe uh jl well it's not jl it's j and l now i think uh oil separator got her tinted obviously um so there's some stuff coming uh, inside i got uh to cook's long tubes for i got the whole jl excuse me the rtr front end kit uh the grills so i got the top grills low grills and side grills i did not go with the lip i went with a different company um i'll tell you who that is in a minute i always seem to screw up their name i want to say it's federal or federal industries i don't want to chop up the name but i'll throw it up here somewhere and let y'all know what the actual name is um uh, but anywho so 
that's how this came about. It was kind of a a random thought. Um, sometimes good things come that way. Sometimes you bite yourself in the butt. But as you can see, I'm taking care of her. She's she's good. This is Wasp GT now. Um, like I said, we're going to have some fun with her. We just haven't got to that point yet. You know, life kind of gets in the way sometimes. So you kind of have to do your thing. But like I said, it... it it's definitely a pretty car. The black and yellow look really good. It, it's a great combination. And we do have the night pony package on it. So that's why we have a black wing, black, black roof, uh, mirror caps. Um, the front is blacked out also. But like I said, it, it's pretty nice. Um, like I said, I, I have no complaints with her yet. Like I said, it's just a little different to drive than my other car. But, um, yeah, that is how this one has manifested. So now we have come to the last car in our fleet. Uh, this is my daughter's new car. It is a ST line escape. Um, this is something that she has purchased on her own. This is something that she has insured on her own. And I'm pretty proud of Papa. I know I've talked about it before. Uh, she is doing pretty good with her stuff. Um, like I said, this is a 2023. Uh, we were looking at the 24s, but she wanted the same color as her dad. So we got an Atlas Blue. Um, it has the black wheels, the 19s on it. Uh, it's been tinted because that's kind of something I did and we put it up the wind visors on it other than that this is pretty much how this car is going to stay um, it's her car i am going to put running boards um we're short people she's shorter than all of us so you know we're going to go ahead and do that and i think it's going to add a little a finishing look to the car so um eventually i'll get some money and do that because things are tight right now and world's going up and my pay isn't so we kind of have to roll it out as we can and yes i know it sounds ridiculous with all these cars here but you know there's things that you don't know about and things that you do know about but we won't get into those things but um that is her car and uh, like i said she's learning to drive on this she doesn't have her license yet. she's got her learners but she's actually going out in this car where she would not go out on the other car so we're making steps right so and she's paying for this she's paying for insurance so it now she has some motivation to go ahead and go do what she's got to do but um yeah that is my fleet that is every car that we own at the moment um it's kind of kind of ridiculous to look at with you know you got four people in your family and you got what eight cars in your driveway yeah it's it's kind of absurd i i agree with y'all but like i said one of them's up for sale sort of kind of i don't know if we are or not i've been driving that for the last couple of days and i've been having a little fun with it um but you know right money it can go uh and then on a side note the 25 explore sts are coming out now i don't think i'm going to go replace mine um but they have the newer technology and all that good stuff. So they, they're having a car show here, not a car show, like the uh, na international car show type stuff uh, where they bring out the new product. So I may go take a look at, see if they have one there, just to look at the interior. Cause the interior is what kind of, you know, has me intrigued because they changed up the interior. They put the big panel in there. As you can see that in my earlier videos that the mustang and cindy's new car have the 13.2 uh, inch screen on it and now the new xt sts or, or the whole explorer line is going to have it so and they redid the interior just a, a wee bit kind of tweaked it and made it a little nicer but you know to me it's not worth uh switching out a whole car for that so you know but maybe down the road you don't know whatever's going to happen right so that is this video so let me go ahead and get this closed out for y'all and we'll see you in a sec all right everyone so that is this video for today like i said it i could probably talk forever 
on this subject because I do have a pretty long lineage with all this stuff you know um, I've been in the in this car scene for quite a few years you know I'm 51 now I'm becoming an old fart my body is wearing down and things are happening and I can't hang like the young kids these days but you know I can afford big toys though but uh, like I said it, it's not a bad deal and uh, like I said Brandon has fallen into that trap with us you know and he's running through some hardship sometimes and yada 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 but hopefully he gets his life straight and gets his stuff straight um like i said i'll probably keep electra till everything falls off her same thing with pam and her car uh cindy just purchased this so this isn't going anywhere anytime soon um god forbid right uh this is always questionable but you know it is a daily and a backup so if brandon like he always breaks his cars he can use this car pam does not want him driving the jeep i don't want him driving any of my cars because i've seen how he drives for real um the jeep uh like i said it's here that's not going anywhere she loves it to death and like i said one day someone has to explain ducking to me because it's a thing and uh people take it really serious i don't know but we gotta wash these cars um this hasn't been washing forever i mean the camera kind of doesn't pick it up but it needs to be clean that has just got detailed i got it cleaned up for a little bit because you know like i said i was going to sell it got a fresh inspection on it but you know maybe it's not going to go anywhere um electra is usually looking pretty good uh all my cars the ones that i drive are pretty much clean uh like i said wasp is the sunshine over here to my nightwing but that is the video i hope y'all enjoyed it um like i said it was just something i woke up and said well let me give y'all a rundown on these cars and kind of give y'all some of the past the future i don't know what the future brings um i don't know how long i'll be on this earth but as long as i'm here i'll probably be doing things so uh like i said we'll, we'll see where my path leaves me um like i said that's the video that's all i can say so thanks for watching hope y'all enjoyed it and if y'all have any questions about any of these cars let me know see you in a bit